Hello everyone, this is the second part of Tonometry. In the first part, we have discussed about Introduction to Tonometry, Unit of Tonometry, Reason to Perform Tonometry, Indication and Contraindication, and the Normal Range of Intraocular Pressure. In this video, we'll be discussing about the types of tonometry which are as follows. Direct versus indirect tonometry, applination tonometry, indentation tonometry, palpation tonometry, and contact and non-contact tonometry. Types of tonometry. As shown in this slide, tonometry is basically divided into two, direct and indirect. Indirect is further divided into three parts, applination, indentation and palpation tonometry and applination tonometry is divided into contact and non-contact tonometry direct versus indirect tonometry direct tonometry a needle is inserted in the eye to measure the IOP due to which it gives more accurate result as compared to indirect tonometry Practically, it is not feasible as needle needs to be inserted in the eye which may lead to other ocular pathologies. Manometry is the only method of direct tonometry. Indirect tonometry It is based on ice response to an applied force. It is a widely used method as there is no need for any insertion of needle, easy to use and no risk of spreading infections. Indirect tonometry can be of three types, applination, indentation, and palpation. Applination tonometry. Applination tonometry is used to measure force necessary to flatten a small standard area of cornea. There are two types on the basis of variable that is measured. Variable force. Area of cornea on applination held constant force varies. Example, Goldman tonometer. Variable area. Force applied to cornea held constant. Area varies. Example, Maglakov tonometer. Indentation tonometry. Indentation tonometer is used to measure the amount of deformation or indentation of the globe in response to a standard weight applied to the cornea or the area flattened by a standard force. It displaces large intraocular volume. So, conversion table based on empirical data is used to estimate IOP. Most commonly used weights are 5.5 gram, 7.5 gram, and 10 gram. Example, Shewell's tonometer. Palpation tonometry. Intraocular pressure is estimated by response of eye to pressure applied by index finger pulp. The accuracy is less but useful if any other tonometer is not available in a limited setup. With the index finger of one hand, pressure is applied and with index finger of the other hand, hardness of the eyeball is felt. It is totally based on examiner's clinical experience. Contact tonometry. During this procedure, Globe is touched by the tonometer. Thus, it is called contact tonometry. IOP measurement is performed by deforming the globe and correlating the force responsible for deformation to the pressure within the eye. Example, Goldman Applination Tonometer, Shoes Tonometer. Being contact method, extra care needs to be taken for cleaning the instrument after examining each patient. Non-contact tonometry Non-contact tonometry does not touch the eye but uses a puff of air to flatten your cornea. It is often used as a simple way to check for high IOP and is the easiest way to test children. Being non-contact technique, spread of infection is very less and no cleaning required for each patient. In the next video, we'll be discussing about Goldman Applination Tonometer in detail.